this is the spot. This is where there was two dozen boats last weekend. All by my lonesome today. It's actually not that bad. Okay, so the plan is I have my frozen tray bait squid and my frozen tray bait anchovies. I uh, poured salt all over the anchovies last night, added a little bit of water so they brined overnight. And um, as soon as we get two poles dropped down, I'm gonna throw out the sabiki and I'm gonna try to get that live bait. Some smelt, some mackerel. Uh, I don't think any anchovies are gonna be out here, but uh, those work great. All right, let's see what happens. All right, so I got the little live bait hook on this halibut rig. This is what we're gonna put the anchovies and small bait on. Uh, for the squid, to keep them on, I got this, uh, what is this? I think this is a 4 aught circle hook, octopus circle hook. And that's tied the same on a halibut rig. Alright, the anchovy on that pole, and we got a squid on this pole. And I just saw a small group of anchovies on the surface. So we're trying to get some live bait. I don't care what it is, as long as it's alive. That's freaking cool. Oh, here comes his, his tail is coming out of the water. Ooh, that happened quick. Ooh, calm down, calm down, calm down. Don't get me hooked. There he is. All right, he's going on that end. No, he's gonna go. Onto the squid line. Okay, so we got live bait on two poles. I'll keep this one in my lap. Let's see if I can't put some uh, live bait in the live well. Perfect. All right, making bait, making bait. A little bigger smelt. So far the plan's working. Make bait at the spot. All right, so it's 9.07. We got two smelt on the line, three smelt on the live well. And I'm still got my sabiki in the water. Try to, uh, try to get a good cache of bait going. Woo! I gotta fight like a champ. Woo! We're right, we're right back on. 
Is that the same fish? No, good, smaller. All right, we'll keep this one. It's about the biggest I want to see. Ideally, an inch shorter. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've been sitting here for, it's 10 o'clock. We've been drifting for about an hour. We're in the 73 foot range. We're gonna go back to the 86 and then try to drift right across where we were before. Smelt, smelt, smelt. Three poles. Got broke off twice. This guy next to me just pulled in the halibut. Looked uh, looked decent. It looked keeper. He gaffed him in, so it must have been keeper. Oh, just had a bite. There they are, there they are. Oh, the little guy jumped off. It's bait 30, it looks like. There they are, as soon as we get to the boat. Down to three hooks on my sabiki. How did that happen? I'm just gonna drop down. Oh, you can see them right here. Yep. There they are. Here. Yep. Look at that. Look at there. Just drop it down and pull it out. All right, I think we got more than enough bait. Keeping the drag loose, I don't want to lose this one. Oh, oh! And as soon as I tightened it, just the tiniest bit. Oh my goodness. What a freaking day. No, we just gotta let them run to, run to the moon next time. Oh my god, what a day. Three breaks in a day. Is it the hooks again? Oh, and it's the same deal. Broken hooks. Oh my god, I think I'm, I'm gonna get spooled. I gotta tight I gotta tighten it. Ah! Oh my god.
five times. Broken off five times. The last one, it almost spooled me. It was something giant. Oh, and I have no battery left. Excellent. Got broke off six times and I missed one halibut by about a foot with the net. It actually jumped over the net. It was a keeper for sure. Uh, steady action, but yeah, we're calling it today. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe, comment, and share. All right, till next time. Bye. Thank you.